camera is way too low. <laughs> Hold on. I feel like we have to bend down weird. Okay. So we actually did this video like two years ago. Hi everyone, I'm Crystal. And I'm Aaron. We thought our video, our family was complete, but just kidding. <laughs> we didn't know where we would be two years later and it's crazy how far it's come. So, and we have so many new followers, new Keep It Crazy family members and just, yeah, so we really wanted to update and go a little more in depth on our story and how we became the crazy pieces and how our family all came together. So let's do this. <laughs> so where did it all begin? Where did our love story begin? Uh. <laughs> uh, me, duh. <laughs> no, we're not there yet, Holly. We're not there yet. Oh, <laughs> you're not on the love story <laughs> yet. You didn't go over to plan. There was a said, lot before you, girl. No, it was just me. It all started in a little We looked at each other's diner. eyes and bam, Hallie's here. No, let's tell oh. the real story here. Okay, I worked at a place called Five and Diner and I was a hostess there. Aaron would come in and eat all the time. And one time he came in and he's like, hey, Crystal. And then he went and sat at a table with a bunch of girls. And I was like... <laughs> We weren't dating at the time though, but I was like, oh, I see you, I see you. <laughs> and then the rest is history. He asked, no, I'm just kidding. I, we actually went on a group date with a bunch of friends and his friend is the one that asked me to like come hang out, but his friend and I weren't really like vibing. And so Aaron asked him if he could then ask me out. And when was our first date? Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. And then the rest is history. <laughs> <laughs> that's how our love story began, kind of. There's a lot more detail to it, but that's <laughs> the basics. So from there, we did get married. And a few months later, huh? that's your cue. A few months later, <laughs> <laughs> this was your cue. Do it again, do it again. Right. Okay, she's ready this time. And a few months later, Hallie came. <laughs> I happened, hey. So Hallie is our first child. She is the one that made us parents. Aww. So this is Hallie. She was born March 16th, 2004. And yeah, she was the best baby. Like she was so good, she was quiet. She actually overslept. And I'd have to like wake her up to feed her because I was just so excited to like feed her and like, I don't know, have her. And so, yeah, she was just like, oh my gosh, I can handle it's about dogs. About teenage years. Dogs. Hold on. So, Aurora. Ar <laughs> oh, come on. Now you got me all confused. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> I blame the dog. Okay, so Hallie was the best baby. Like she would sleep through the night, she would oversleep, and I was so excited to be a mom and like feed her, and I would like, wake up, let me feed you, and I was just so excited. And she was such a good baby that I was like, oh, I can handle 20 kids. So our family is because of you. Thank oh. you. <laughs> Just kidding. So, I'm just kidding. But she was such a good baby that I was super excited and and she was just so fun. So two years later, <laughs> Max came in the picture. And Max, I know we tell this every time, but he was born on my dad's birthday, so he was named after my dad. And Max brought the spice to our family. He was a tornado since day one. He <laughs> yeah. No. True. <laughs> he True. was the cutest little kid. Like he was very clean and organized, which he still is. You were like that since the age of two. Like it was, you would line your little cars up yeah. and it was so cute. But then he would break so much stuff. Like at two years old, he was like, he would line his cars up and then he'd be like, ah! and I'm like, is that like a burst of testosterone? What's going on? I'm not sure what the boy I'm thinking. I don't know. <laughs> and then he broke like his light like up above at one point, I don't know. But he brought adventure into our family and was just always so much fun to be around. He would randomly scream out. It was just fun, I don't know. And he loved to dance. 
Oh my gosh, here's a clip of him dancing. It was like yes. the best thing ever. He just loved, I don't know. And he is just, he was such a good baby also. So and originally, when Aaron and I got married, I wanted four kids. He wanted- I wanted two kids. Two kids. So we compromised and had a 16. lot more. It's <laughs> <laughs> a good compromise in there. But, uh, <laughs> No, so originally we decided to have three because we were coming in the middle of that. So we tried and tried to get pregnant and unfortunately we weren't able to for a long time. Um, what felt like forever. It's we, like a good two years. We ended up going through fertility treatments and all of that. Ended up being able to get pregnant and we were so excited. Max and Hallie were like... Counting road. down the days till this baby was born, and unfortunately, it ended in a miscarriage. At, it was about 12 weeks, between yeah. eight and 12 weeks, and and it was devastating, and it was a very sad time and hard time for our family. And so from there, we actually I remember this little moment of like Max coming in and. It, I just found out that I was miscarrying, and so I didn't even tell Max or Hallie yet. And Max came in and kissed my belly and was like, I can't wait to meet you. And I just, I just lost it. I cried. It was just really, really difficult time. And during that time, you were so down. Oh, I had, it for, was rough. For weeks. Yeah, I know. Like, I, was, I know, but you were so excited. I was really worried about her. So I had the great, crazy idea. And I went to her and I said, why don't we try foster care? See if we could adopt a child. So I do want to make something really clear with that. Adoption wasn't like our second choice. I do feel that it was always the path we were meant to be on. We had actually talked kids, about it a bunch. And so... It was just in that moment it was, it was in right. In that moment, it, it, yeah. So our kids, like whether they came through us biologically or adopted or whatever, they are our real kids. The kids that were meant to be ours. And I truly, truly feel like I gave birth to all of them. Like that's just how I feel about it. So. As we started the classes, all Aaron had to say was those words. And the next week we were in classes. <laughs> and really next week. shortly after starting the classes, we found out we were pregnant with... <laughs> Logan! Oh. So, Logan... This is Max the Remix. Yeah. <laughs> You cannot tell them apart. It's like a copy and paste. <laughs> <laughs> so Logan was born, um, what, nine months after starting those classes. And he is our rainbow baby. He is the baby that brings joy to our family. He is, has a more calm personality, but he's always happy, always smiling. He's super chill. Smart. <laughs> oh my gosh. He is like way ahead on he's his mouth bats and like his, yeah. He is just so, so smart. He looks like Max and he has my <laughs> brains like, what better mix can you get? <laughs> so it kind of goes back to though, even though we got pregnant, we knew that we were meant to adopt and that we had missing pieces out there. So originally when we started our channel, we called it Missing Pieces because we were still finding all of our missing pieces. And so and it just kind of fit. We're still finding still, We thought pieces. that was over, so we changed the name, but now we thought. <laughs> that was like so, two years ago. <laughs> So we didn't stop there, and the first one that we adopted... She's not in here. <laughs> so now this is when the story got a little complicated because there are kids that came into our lives and into our family, but were adopted later, or the order of that is all kind of mixed up. But the first one to come into the family and be a forever child was... Me! <laughs> So fun story really quick about Melinda. So we were actually only going to take kids zero to seven is was our original license for foster care. And then we moved houses, we moved counties. So we had to switch agencies. And when they were switching our license over, they put a one in front of the seven. And so we were licensed zero to 17. All of a sudden we started getting all these calls for teenagers and we were like, wait, what? <laughs> we did end up taking a teenager in and then from there, there was another teenager, which was Melinda, and she actually was living on the same street as us, and the home that she was in was closing their foster care license, so they're like, 
please take her and then we will have to switch her schools and all of that. Long story short, she came over, we fell in love, we knew she was meant to be our child, so she came to us at the age of 17. Because of the one in front of the seven. A little error was definitely the road to finding our forever daughter. So um, with that, she fit right in, like right away. She felt like that missing piece that we needed in our lives. And she brought the sweet into our family. She brought, like, she just has this really caring personality and she's always looking out for others and she's helping out. And Brynn she, Logan had the and Logan were besties. Cutest, just, oh. Yeah, their relationship. Sibling bond. You would walk into Melinda's room and Logan's sitting there laying on her bed and they're just having the funnest time. It was just, yeah. And Logan didn't really go to anybody growing up. Like, he was always the, like, uh, stranger danger, don't touch me kind of person. But no, he was just, that's my big sister. And he just, he just loves her so much. Were you so shocked when he was, like, crawling to me when I was sitting at your table? Do you remember Yeah. That? I was like, oh, hey. He just came right over to her and I was, like, so shocked. I was like, what? <laughs> So crazy. So shortly after, Melinda was with us for about three, two to three months. And then Ariana came in the picture. <laughs> <She's>, <laughs> that was a good entrance. Good entrance. Ariana, I love it. <laughs> so Ariana was... Oh, you had just turned 10. Yes. Like right, she was in between nine and 10. We met her around her birthday. But um, yeah, she, I felt like was always meant to be also. And her and Hallie are only three days apart. So it was like they were like twins. Like right away they had this bond and they instantly like hung out and played together and did cheer together. Do you remember cheer days? Yes. Well, you still did cheer together even a few years ago. I actually have a picture like when I was, um, I think I was like, I was really little, but I have a picture in my room and I look at it and I'm just like. Yeah, we're gonna insert the picture. Ding. <laughs> <laughs> but with Ariana, like, the instant bond, and I, as you guys know, I'm really close with my sister from Crazy Middle, Shelly, and my sister Mindy and Chelsea, like I've been getting so close to, and my sisters just mean the world to me. So I was so happy that Hallie had that bond with Melinda and Ariana, and just to have that sisters in her life, because we all need sisters. Um, and if you don't have sisters, friends are just as good. Friends are amazing too. But um, yeah, I just knew that it meant to be. So Ariana actually got adopted first. She was adopted a few months after me. Well, it was like eight months later in December. And do you remember the exact date? Yeah, the fourth. Yep. What year? 2014. Yeah, she knows the exact date. So, um, yeah, so she was our OG. These were our OG kids. They were like the original. They saw all the kids coming in and out of the house through foster care, and they were the ones that were meant to be here forever. So, other fun fact, even though Melinda was the first foster child to come in, she was the last to get adopted. <laughs> As you guys saw a few, really was. a few months ago, what, eight, eight years later, <laughs> she was finally adopted. We didn't know that we could adopt her. We were told originally that we couldn't. We ended up finding a loophole and we were able to adopt her um, just a few months ago. So we're very thankful that we were able to do that and now she's an official pedant. <laughs> Was it weird changing your name at your age? Um, Your last name? No. Oh. I mean, I'm just like, oh, it's like just actually on, on paper. Yeah, she's always been a pedant. So I gotta fix that. <laughs> I still oh, to go yeah. <laughs> she picked it on her birth certificate, but she still needs to do her social security and all that fun yeah. stuff. So <laughs> the next one to come into our home was Jake. <laughs> Woo! Look at this sweet boy. I, okay, so my fun story. I can't believe how big he has grown. He's not even a little kid anymore. He's no. like, hey Jake! <laughs> How's the weather up there? You've grown so much over the last couple of years. I cannot believe it. Talk it's about really it. crazy. Whoa. <laughs> so Jake, we actually got a phone call and they were like, hey, you know, this five-year-old boy um, needs a home. And so we went and we picked him up out of a DCS parking lot. 
and he walks out and he was so shy and quiet and he comes out to the car and I just look at him and I'm like, hey, it's so nice to meet you. And he was, he just looked at me and just smiled. He didn't even have to say his name. He didn't even anything. He just smiled at me and like my heart just melted. And I'm like, holy cow, this boy is gonna change the world with this smile. To this day, still. still to this day. Like, <laughs> just you give him a smile, Jake, make just their smile. day. Just smile, make their day. Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. Your day is now better. <laughs> Your day is now complete with Jake's <laughs> smile. But, um, so anyways, Jake though, came in, he was a little bit quiet at first, but he just, yeah, would just smile at everybody. And then slowly we started seeing his personality and he is just the sweetest. He's definitely a caretaker. Like he always makes sure that everyone, like if Aurora needs like a drink or whatever, he's like the first to get up and grab it and just make sure everyone's taken care of. But in addition to that, he is just always so happy. Like he is happy, I would say like 95% of the time, but chill happy. Not crazy running around screaming, which he does do, but not as often as some of the others. But at the end of the day, he'll be the one to like reel everybody back in and keep us all grounded and remember what this life is all about. So that's what Jake brings to the table, right? Yes. <laughs> And you're smart. Uh, you're really smart. And chill. And chill. I'm chill, yeah. <laughs> Luke's the... Luke's the crazy one. And Max. Yeah. They bring the crazy in our lives. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the next one was a little bit of a journey. We actually had to drive really far. They said there was this baby that was a year and a half old. And we were so excited. We could not wait. And that baby was... Brody! <laughs> Brody? <laughs> he was a very chill kid. <laughs> He's always been so fun to be around, but he had the biggest lips that were just so cute and chubby cheeks when he first came and... Insert picture. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he is just the sweetest kid. And look at that smile. How can you resist this cuteness? <laughs> so him and Logan were best friends from the very beginning. They got along so good. And they, yeah, were like the brothers that were always meant to be. I, I think when they turn into teenagers, they're going to be little troublemakers together. But we'll we'll have to wait around hey, and remember, see on that. Remember the thing? Um, <laughs> wait, what? I don't know. <laughs> he's been watching superheroes all day and superhero shows, so he's a little amped up on the superheroes. <laughs> I love it. What's your favorite show right now? Henry Danger. Henry Danger. That's what he's Henry been Danger. watching. Henry Danger is a movie, um, either The Amazing Spider-Man or um, Far From Home, from Sp Spider-Man Far From Home. I'm so excited for Spider-Man No Way Home. Oh, nice. Dad's going to have to take you when it comes out. I'm super excited for that. <laughs> so yeah, Brody brings the fun to our family. He's always outgoing and keeps us all on our toes. And I absolutely love it. We actually thought we were done adopting after Brody. And so we were getting ready to close our license. But before we could do that... We were waiting for Brody's adoption to go through. Yes. So... And then we got this email, and it had Hannah and Alex's picture in it. Oh, that's your cue. <laughs> 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 how could you not resist? How, like, how could you resist this? You get an email with these faces, you're like, yeah. <laughs> no, I got this feeling when I like read through the email and saw it that I was like, okay, but I honestly thought that he would say no. So I went to Aaron and I'm like, hey, let's just go meet them. And he was like, yeah, I would love to. And I'm like, yes. And then after meeting them, uh, we had to drop them back off at the group home. We just picked them up for the day for an Alego event. And when we dropped them back off, Aaron starts crying in the car. And he's like, those are our kids. Well, like I'm having a hard time dropping them off because he knew that they were meant to be ours. And so it was like only a few days later, and like we moved them in. Like we were like, hey, was, circuit, move your It team. wasn't even a week. Yeah, yeah. we were confused. Yeah. We were so confused. We're like, uh, so you know that family that picked you up? Like, yeah, they're like, they kind of want you to live with them. I'm like, huh? 
Doesn't it take longer before that can happen? Not when we're like, those are our kids. Give us our kids back. Give us our kids back. Come on. No, you guys just felt like you were always meant to be. And they just like brought so much to our family and the family dynamic. And Alex brings so much fun and outgoing, but he also has so, he's so sensitive. And I love it because you're very similar to me. No, I love the scent, your sensitivity. And then Hannah... Don't ever lose that. Don't ever lose that. Sensitivity is so amazing. And Hannah is also very sensitive, but she makes us laugh all oh the time. Oh, my gosh. If you ever need to go on a road trip, oh, invite road Hannah trips with, with you. Road trips with Hannah? Are, oh, my... That is a different breed. Oh, my gosh. One Don't. might say a pterodactyl breed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, you've adopted a pterodactyl. <laughs> I'm not a girl, I'm a pterodactyl. What is that laugh? I can't. I can't. Stop. Stop. We were still waiting for Brody's adoption. They were able to group them together and so adopt all three, all three at the same yeah. time. Yeah, My three you're part babies. of the gang. Yeah, and then we took an embarrassing. And then we took an embarrassing photo. <laughs> no, that was the best photo. That's the best that photo. Awesome. Put it, put it we, on screen, we need put to it do. On screen. We need to do a reaction video to the adoption <laughs> video because <laughs> I thought they were little babies and I wrapped them in a baby blanket. <laughs> They were so big. I was a baby. You were kind of. They were nowhere near baby size. No, that's no. Not <laughs> Don't go back and watch that video. No, <laughs> I'll be good at the end. It's going to be put on private after. We don't know what we were thinking when we filmed that. It was funny at the yeah, time. I don't know. What I was like, I have this great idea. We'll act like we had done. Oh, you know, mom was like, Mom was like, all right. Babies today. Mom was like, you guys are going to be babies today. I was like, huh? You enjoyed it. He was like, Dad, Dad. <laughs> I remember that. I know, I didn't like it. <laughs> and we actually thought we were done from there. We thought our family is complete. But those are famous last words in this house because it never ends. <laughs> it just, yeah, God has other plans for us. But so then we have our bonus child that came in and we were so excited because it was Jamie. <laughs> Jamie's in the house. I love your tie-dye shirt. Yeah, you. I love I that. I have a matching one to that, kind of, but it doesn't have red grass on it. So Jamie was living in a Michigan at the time, and we brought her out to live with us um, to Arizona, and she was pregnant with Aurora. <laughs> you are getting way too big, way too big. Um, so Aurora was born a few months later, and she was so sweet, such a good baby. Huh, your cereal is such a good baby. Yeah. <laughs> um, Jamie and Aurora both bring so much light into our family. Jamie is the sweetest personality. She is so loving. She cares about everybody. She helps everybody that she can. Aurora is literally like the angel on earth. She can cheer anybody up. She has actually, even her preschool teacher says that she, like if someone's sitting by themselves at, at school, she'll go over there and sit next to them. She, even if a teacher's sitting by herself, she just wants everybody to be, be happy. And if anybody's sad or crying, she's the first one to give them a hug or be by their side. And it's just the sweetest. <laughs> Aurora was adopted May, and Jamie has always been adopted in our hearts. <laughs> Don't hurt each other. Oh no, I'm scared. <laughs> 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 because 
Susan and Savannah are waiting in the background. Okay. <laughs> So we I actually pounce their prey. We actually closed our license after that, like because we were like, yeah, our family is complete. And then Erin came to me again. I I I swear all the big ideas come from Erin, but the crazy ones come from me. They breed. <laughs> so he took me out um, on a little date, and he was like, I have this feeling that we're meant to adopt again, and I was like. Are you serious? Okay, let's do it. And then I felt like everything started falling into place. Our license was super fast. Everything was super fast. And then all of a sudden, Lucas and Savannah came in the picture. <laughs> Are you okay? Is everything okay? Ouch. <laughs> oh no, did you break your watch? I think so. <laughs> no, it's mine. Oh, it's Oh it. no. <laughs> Oh my God. How? The watch did not survive this video. Actually, the watch is fine. You just need a new. I think I have one too. I have a cute pink one. Okay. Okay. We're, I want the cute pink We're going to do some watch surgery after this. <laughs> what? Ah. what did that happen? I don't know. You guys got wild. Yeah. They literally came flying into our lives just like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they were so meant to be. Like from day one of coming in, they actually came on Luke's birthday. And. I don't know, it was just like instantly comfortable, instantly like just there. Like they've always been there. That was such a fun day. I truly feel like I gave birth to them. Like I, they've always been a part of our family and they just brought so much to it. So Lucas is our fun factor. He is outgoing and caring and one of the best hearts. Like He, he is our screamer. He is our screamer. <laughs> he does like to rant. If you ever hear screaming in the video, nine times out of ten it is Lucas <laughs> screaming in the background. The other time. <laughs> but we love that about The other time Max. it's Aurora Max. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes Brody. <laughs> we have a few screamers in the house. Um, but Lucas is like, I call them my Superman. Because anytime there's been like a family emergency or something goes wrong, Lucas like has this thing that like clicks and he is just like there and on it. And like, I don't know if it's this adrenaline rush. Like, I think you should be a doctor or something because you would do oh, no. so good in emergency. So Jake fell off the back of our fence into this bob wire. Yes. was bleeding and it was this whole thing. Lucas like yeets over this little like, <laughs> like wall, doesn't get hurt or anything. And he's like picking Jake up and putting him over the bob wire fence. He was barefoot. And I'm like, what are you doing? And he didn't even get a scratch on he him. He took so. such good care of Jake and he was mm -hmm. so comforting to him in such a crazy time. It was just, it was awesome. Yeah. So I do think he has a superpower, but he's not telling any of us yet. So stay it's tuned. For that one. <laughs> the real secret. I can fly. He can fly. He probably can. On my head. <laughs> <laughs> Into Savannah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and Savannah. Savannah brings so much to our family. A, she completes the girls because she keeps them grounded. When they're all crazy and all this stuff, Savannah's like, wheel it in for a second, guys. We, I got you. This is what we're actually going to do. And she is, she knows when to be the boss and then like when to step back and have fun with it too. So she just has that amazing personality that just keeps everybody sane. <laughs> I love that about you. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, yep. I keep him sane. <laughs> you keep us all sane. She's the glue that holds us all together. <laughs> so one other addition that you will see in videos is Scarlett. So Scarlett is actually our granddaughter. This is Melinda's daughter. And she is the sweetest. Say hi. Say hi. Say keep it crazy. Keep it crazy. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Oh, it's our first grandbaby and she brings so much joy to our lives. We just love her to death. And she is just such a sweet personality. She's easygoing. She is one of the easiest kids we've ever watched too. Like babysitting her is like, it's like a dream come true because she's so good for us and she just... She has yeah. the best time. You're the OG granddaughter. You always remember that, okay? Who's that that sign? What? Who's that that sign? Oh, Aurora's getting in my jewelry, huh? <laughs> yeah. Okay, come get in, everybody. Can we see the greedy? Yeah.
Yeah, yeah the helmet is a little distracting. Whoever's head's right behind me, pop it up more. Is this going to be like on the back of your van or something? Hannah, up a little bit. And then Ariana is like, my legs are sore. Okay, right there. There you go. Oh, uh, Alex, you need to go up. They keep popping up. Okay, I keep going. Going. okay, there we go. Ready? Set? So this is how we all came together, but there are three more joining us very soon, so we will do another update on this in a few months. We're going to need a bigger camera. But <laughs> we yeah. are going to need a wider camera lens, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, Max is coming. Okay, oh, yeah. 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 Now we are all here, except for our three new ones, so we will get to meet them very soon. But this is who we are, and this is how we became the Crazy Beast! Yeah. Persistence kept on pulling